The Caribbean Mooring Field Development Foundation helps local populations invite cruising sailors to visit their island and spur tourism, the lifeblood of the Caribbean. The first donated mooring field was installed in Portsmouth, Dominica, and is our test case. With your help, we plan to duplicate the placement of additional mooring fields and help identify deserving new locations. As more sailors visit this beautiful hidden gem, the local economy is then able to prosper. The island of Dominica is a very special island in the Caribbean. Not to be mistaken for the Dominican Republic, which shares a border with Haiti, the indigenous Carib natives did not fully surrender to colonial rule until 1915. The island switched hands many times between European nations, with British rule dominating the decades before independence in 1978. Dominica does not have any white sandy beaches and therefore unblemished by those all-inclusive mega beach resorts that cover the shorelines of neighboring islands. There is not one pleasure boat dock on the entire island and the few cruise ships that do bring tourists visit the far southern end of the island, miles away from Portsmouth. Since Dominica has never been able to attract large numbers of tourists, it is much less developed and economically disadvantaged. What the island does have, however, is a vibrant ecotourism base, better known to adventure travelers and sailors who seek to explore beyond the normal cruising grounds. Dominica boasts the second largest boiling lake in the world, as well as the only guided river tour, snaking over 1.5 kilometers into the interior. There are also numerous waterfalls to walk to and swim in, a warm water spring, and bubbly champagne snorkel sites with bubbles emanating from the sea floor. There is a hiking path extending from one end of the island to the other, broken up into 14 segments with places to camp or sleep under the stars. Hi, my name is Vince. I am down here on the avocation for Yachty Appreciation Week. Uh, it's my first time visiting Dominica and it has just been a wonderful experience so far. Uh, everything from getting to the mooring field and how the PAYS members help you out, getting in and getting adjusted, uh, to then helping you explore the island. We've done some amazing tours so far. So far, right now, we're sitting underneath waterfalls that are like 120 feet tall and just absolutely breathtaking. Uh, the rainforest on this island and just all of its natural beauty is just amazing to come here and experience. Uh, again, Pays has been great. Um, in the mooring field, I feel completely safe and secure. Uh, it's a your boat, you know, you go out there for the day, you know your boat's going to be just fine while you're exploring this island. 70% of the island is virgin territory and has never been developed. A visit to Dominica is a very different cruising destination than the British Virgin Islands or similar charter destinations. There is no charter base in Dominica. In the BBIs, you sail from beach bar to beach bar and have drinks and dinner looking at your boat on a mooring from your perch ashore. But in Dominica, you want to get off your boat in the early morning and go tour the island, visiting world heritage sites such as the Emerald Pool, or visit the only Indian reservation in the Caribbean and see how cassava bread is made. You might be touring until late afternoon. I'm Albert Lawrence, I'm born and raised here in Portsmouth, Dominica. I've been a boat guy for many years, and I've been doing boating with the yachts for many years with different people, and then I met Hank. My boat was not in good condition to make business. So I met Hank, we talked about it, he helped me. get a better boat for working with people and for better business. And Hank had helped me very well with the other people. And today, I'm grateful and um, I feel better. Here's a good of an example of the traditional boats that the yacht, yacht boys have been using for years. Uh, and then one right here, uh, for, we sent down the materials for Albert so we could have a, a newer boat. And he's really one of the only fiberglass boats that we have. But we have the older traditional boats that were still made out of wood. And that's really what gave us the, the creed uh, so that when we decided to donate a mooring field, we had first the example of sending the materials to do a, a complete job, a uh, successful job with Albert first. So then when we saw that there was a need for the mooring field and I just said, you know, we're going to donate a mooring field for you, they uh, believed me because we had a little bit of history of doing that. So this is really where it started uh, with Albert, uh, where we first met him the first time I came in several years ago. Uh, and then he introduced us to Pays in the group, which was uh, which made it very much uh, easier for us to uh, donate the materials and get a, a mooring field for them. It was 
in the off-season, they actually go fishing off offshore a few miles, because uh, of course tourists are only here three or four months of the year, and they like to eat 12 months a year. So they go out and they uh, fish and use the boat, so he has a much uh, nicer boat for doing that much safer as well. A responsible skipper will never leave his or her boat if they think it is not in a secure anchorage and might drag anchor. They also worry about theft, vandalism, and if it is safe to leave the boat unattended. By having a secure mooring field with a nightly security service, boat owners and crew can feel safe to explore the islands during the day and sleep comfortably at night. What they did in this uh, mooring field, it's kind of unlike the rest of the places we've been in the uh, Virgin Islands for sure, is uh, the moorings are set far enough apart that there's ample space for others to come in and anchor. And uh, uh, the balls have been uh, 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 are, uh, a lower price than we found anywhere else uh, as well. So uh, coming into uh, Dominica with the boat has been uh, quite a pleasure. Uh, we've we've uh, really not worried about uh, uh, petty theft or anything else. We do keep our uh, the usual uh, security things by, like locking up but uh, there's been no incidents here, over, well over 100 boats for this last week. Uh, there's, uh, there's been nothing happened except a lot of good time. The first Yachty Appreciation Week included free moorings, discounted tours, and a full week of events. It brought in about 25 boats. By the second year, over 100 boats visited, swinging on 35 moorings. In 2018, our final test year, we will have nearly 50 moorings in place for the season. The goal is to move beyond the annual Yachty Appreciation Week and maintain a steady flow of boats visiting all season long. The final part of the Caribbean Mooring Field Foundation is setting up the maintenance program to help raise money for the mooring field maintenance and for security boats that patrol at night during the season. The Portsmouth Association of Yacht Services, or PAYS, has two revenue streams. The first is the $10 per night fee for a mooring. For those wishing to stay on their own boat anchor, there is plenty of room to do so for free while still protected by PAYS Security Boat Patrol. In season on Sundays and some Wednesdays, Pays will host a fish and chicken barbecue on the beach with rum and punch and dancing. The profits from the barbecues go to the Pays group for the boat and mooring field. Oh, my name is Cornelia Rutherford. I'm here for a week and it's been a marvelous week. Everyone is so kind to you and we feel so, uh, the weather is so pleasant. We've had a wonderful uh, barbecue, great dancing in the evening and terrific walks through the, this wonderful natural wonderland. In the future, the Caribbean Mooring Field Development Foundation will offer a network of mooring fields featuring the donors' names on display to all sailors. Besides the environmental benefits of not dropping anchors near the shorelines and digging up seabeds, moorings offer an environmentally sensitive alternative. Using moorings rather than anchors allows more boats to fit in tighter laces since boats do not swing as much on moorings. More visitors mean more money to the local economy. They can fit in closer to shore in the lee for protection and for shorter dinghy rides to shore. In some harbors, the water also gets deeper fairly quickly further out, so it is harder to safely anchor. The Caribbean Mooring Field Development Foundation raises money to duplicate this first successful mooring field in Dominica and make sure it stays maintained. So we got the mooring in location. You can see uh, Jeffrey took a look with the mask to make sure it was a good location, no anchors or anything else was below. Then by knocking out that one pin that released the chain that was holding that up, so the uh, float uh, uh, bounced up into the water, the brick settled to the bottom, and it's all set for that diver to come back uh, whenever to set up the line in the mooring, and that's how we get our mooring field one mooring at a time. We will duplicate the effort and donate more mooring fields to deserving communities in the Caribbean in the future. We will also make sure that our efforts are carried out by local residents who will then train others. As new mooring fields are added and promoted, there will emerge a loose federation of completed mooring fields throughout the Caribbean. Cruisers can sail from one island to another, knowing that they are certified and maintained by the Foundation. Anyone who donates one or more mirrorings will be part of the fraternity of donors and get free moorage when available along with the gratitude of the community. We thank you for supporting the Caribbean Mooring Field Development Foundation and for helping the small seaside villages in the Caribbean.